we never once got stuck by a fish dealer not paying us. Back in the 30s and the 20s, we had to box them up and ice them ourselves and take them over to the Rhinecliff Railroad Station and send them into New York or, or, or Albany or Boston. Because we had dealers that we had done business with for years and years and years and uh, they knew of us. And about a week to 10 days later, they'd send us a check. And, uh, and the one time, this one dealer that used to come down to the river with his truck to pick them up in the 40s and 50s, we had quite a, quite a load one day, and uh, he only wanted to give us a penny a piece for our shed. My father says, no way. He says, I would take no less than a nickel a piece. So the dealer says to him, they didn't cost you anything. So my father says, if that's the case, I'll throw these overboard and you can go catch them for nothing. And we was on our way out of the, out of the slip to throw them overboard, and he changed his mind and he did give us a nickel a piece for them.